Hello, my name is Katrin. I'm a member from the Faceformer team. And today we have a special guest. His name is Attila. Yes, Attila, you are a really a real sportsman, like an all-round talent. And what I've seen so far is you can do amazing things uh, sports-wise. So could you give us a little example? Yes, of course. Ooh. You. Look at Something that. Like <laughs> so we're not going to teach these things today, but we just come to that point that we want to have a little talk about the face former and its benefits in the sports industry and how it can support your whole stamina and your breathing technique. Have you ever tried it before? Yes, indeed. Uh, I tried it. I'm using it since a couple of years ago and it uh, recently had my performance and also the endurance in my sport activity. We will also go through some ways how to use it, the trainings, but first I'm going to point out a little bit how how it works and how are the benefits, why does it help and how we got started with the whole thing. So what is interesting about this? The whole thing in life comes down to some basic functions in your body. Some very basic functions are first of all breathing and second swallowing. If all this is not working in the correct way, the entire system is not going to cooperate. So how do basic functions get in an incorrect way? It basically starts already in your early life when, for example, little babies they, get, they don't get breastfeeded, so they don't learn how to swallow in the right way, or they use their thumb for a very long time. And things like this can already change these basic functions and the patterns how they should work in a very early days. So once you're in the wrong pattern, it does affect your entire body. The statics of your body, of your spine, your vertebras, the bone structure, the breathing and also the exchange of oxygen and CO2. So basically everything is affected already by a very basic function, which is breathing and swallowing. I can totally relate on that one as I'm working in the fitness industry and all my clients, most of my clients and even professional athletes, they have the wrong pattern of, of breathing and we have to do something against. Yeah, for athletes specifically, your whole outcome of the training effect and benefit is just lowered massively if the breathing is not correct. Because the, the power of the breathing can support any kind of movement. It can increase your strength. Very, you, you already know that from training, right? You can feel if you like go with the breathing and align it, the movement with the breathing, it has a lot of powers on you. So just to give you an idea about what can go wrong or what can be wrong and what is right, Basically, if you have a look at people, random people, and you see someone already standing like with a tilted pelvic, probably shoulders forward, maybe even mouth open, breathing like through the mouth. This is a whole posture. It's just not like in a nice, like strong way. That is, for example, a very strong indicator for a wrong breathing technique. And um, these kind of positions, they can vary between shoulders front, pelvic tilt, even backwards, like in a hyperflexion. Like in a hyperflexion, exactly. So these kind of these kind of wrong body positions, they even underline your breathing. So with the whole training program, you can not only align your breathing, you can also align it with your body, with your swallowing, and get not only if you're an athlete, just for really everyone, you can avoid so many effects it has on your later life. So I was also about our second aspect, the swallowing, is something that we do almost as frequently as the breathing and we do it unaware. So it's just happening. And if we swallow in an incorrect way, it's kind of a whole muscle chain. It just affects the whole frontal muscle, the inside muscle of your mouth, which already lead to if it's not working correctly, then your part in the middle ear, the internal ear, is not ventilated enough. That leads, for example, to frequent infections of the ear. 
Or oh, that's interesting. I never, I never thought of that. Yes, this is everything connected with the swallowing, with the breathing, but particularly also the swallowing. It can even lead to incorrect teeth positions. So also that your enzymes, they, it's kind of a, a pre-digestion already. Also your enzymes, they might not be the particular right ones if you just don't sw uh, swallow correctly. All these things, they have so big effects on it. And just this little thing, it just doesn't look very, very special. It's very small, but as we know, sometimes the little things, right? <laughs> and they are, it's a real game changer. So it's basically a training, like, which you obviously know, you do a lot of that. <laughs> and as you can train every single muscle here on your body, you can also train the muscle in this area, like inside, out, like the chewing muscle, the swallowing muscle, and it, it has such a big effect on everything else. And how do you suggest for, for beginners to, to begin to use the, the breast and the swallowing at the same time? Because yeah. when I'm having trouble with my clients to, to just teach them, first of all, how to breathe properly. Well, we have a little training program developed for the face former. It's basically for everyone because it's how to use it um, is very simple. I can demonstrate it on you right now. You can try it right now. You probably did already some of those because there are existing training videos. There is an app that you can use. There is a DVD that you can get together with the face former. And it's as simple as that. So this has a shield. Everyone can probably see it better in the internet. But right now we will try it on Attila, if you agree. Yes. yes. So this shield, we would put it in front of the teeth, but behind your lips. So we will place it there right now. And just put your lips together and hold the front part. Exactly. So here we go. Before we try the whole thing, there are two very important aspects that you have to basically maintain the entire time you're using it. It's your tongue position in the first place. So your tongue, it wants to be open your mouth. I have quite clean fingers, so I'm going to touch this point. There is a point behind your front teeth there where it's like lowers a little bit and goes up. There you want to have your tooth. It's like basically a few millimeters behind your front teeth. So your tongue position is there. You keep the tip of your tongue right there all the time. So just close your mouth, keep it there for first. The second thing is if you would just turn a little bit sideways, the position of the neck Basically, we know that every movement we do is the, the head is always leading. No matter if you want to jump like a 360, head is rotating first. So right here, the same thing. If you want a nice body position, a correct one, like a correct spine position, pelvic tilt and everything, the head and the neck, they are leading. So that's why your neck has to be extended and like has to be the extension of your spine and your hip bones and the ankles and the knees and everything wants to be aligned. So just imagine someone would pull you here in the back of your head more or less up in, and lengthen. That's where you want to be. This is like a nice alignment. That's what you want to have. Someone who probably did yoga or something knows a little bit more about it, but this is a nice alignment. So you don't want to have this. You don't want to have this. You just want to be nice, straight and tall, right? The chin, not too high, is like on a nice straight eye level. This is what you maintain. All right. So as we were talking about the head and the neck, they are leading and you can do a very nice 360. Can you maybe demonstrate how the head is really leading? Yes. I and so everyone to. can see and understand it. <laughs> so I guess that was really nice to see that the head was moving first and the body followed and like the entire body followed. So this is exactly the principle, what is behind exactly, this really and important. the whole alignment. Yeah. Are you happy to try it? <laughs> yes, I would love to. Okay. So we have this shield, which is in the, like the back part of the face former and this little nose shape, um, which is the front of the face former. In the end, you want to hold the nose part with your lips and the back part is going to be in front of your teeth, but behind your lips. So we're going to place it into your mouth right now. Just close your lips around it, hold mm -hmm. it 
Yeah, so you don't have to hold it tight for first, just in a relaxed way. Exactly. Now everyone can see the lips are holding it. And you can, this part is like very flexible, so you can squeeze it. And this is one basic thing of the exercises. This is always involved. So exercise number one. Mm -hmm. You stand in your very nicely alignment. The neck is long. The tongue is on the nice point what we just talked about. And we always count on six, like six seconds is basically our, our time, yeah? So the first thing is that you press with your lips the front part together, hold it for six seconds, like one, two, three, four, five, six. Don't do anything, just put your teeth together and swallow and release slowly. Exactly, now you have a six second break. One, two, three, four, five, six. Exactly, now you repeat the whole thing. Press it together, hold it nice and firm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Very important, put your teeth together now and swallow without moving your position. Now you slowly release with the lips, not fast, slowly. It's resistance training, basically. Release, relax, six seconds, and you're gonna repeat it all over. So Attila, you did so well. <laughs> it's really good to see this. So I would like, to, I would like you to try it one more time and be okay. very aware of <clears throat> if you feel what differences you feel, like mm -hmm. in terms of your nose or what's <clears throat> happening in the inside of your mouth. Will you do it one more time for us? Yes, please. Just mm -hmm. already know how it works. Just one time is enough. Mm -hmm. Nice. Fine and relax. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and take it out. So what can you feel? Just describe. Quite, yeah, it was quite difficult. I felt, uh, I felt the muscles, they are working really hard. It was uh, like a workout for my body. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I felt also when I'm breathing in through the nose, it's like a cleansing. I a little bit have more, more space in the, in the system. Yeah, so what it does, just to explain it for everyone that you can't feel it right now, the shield of the face former is created in a way that, yeah, so it, it creates a kind of negative pressure in your mm. mouth. And using it, it opens all the airways, so your nose gets really wide and you have much more, much more volume that you can inhale through it. That's exactly what I felt. Yes, that's exactly what you felt, right? So everything is kind of as you said, it's muscle work. That's what we want. You want to train those muscles and make them stronger, basically, because these muscles, they are able to create more space, more space for breathing, for better swallowing and tongue function, and also for, um, yeah, for example, for the ears, for more ventilation, right? This is what it does. And, and that's news, what you found. You even don't need a gym for that. You can do yeah. everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, you can travel with it. <laughs> so. So only one more time to understand what it all does. It's a training instrument, that's what we already talked about. And it's basically, it's a neurofunctional functional training thing. It can change patterns, wrong patterns, what we already discussed, wrong swallowing patterns, wrong breathing patterns. But it can also help with what's very common, for example, if you're grinding your teeth or you have strong pain in your jaws, in your um, in your articulation here, this can help massively on it. Like if you do these exercises frequently, you will change all these functions, it's all connected. So everything can change for good if you use your muscles in the right way and if they are strong enough to work in the right way. So this is what's gonna help you for that. And it's very important to, to know that all the patterns you're using every day, no matter if for breathing or for training or for whatever you do, you can always change a pattern, right? So let's say if you are doing gymnastics and you do the handstand wrong, your trainer can tell you, 
do it this way and you can adapt, you can learn it, you can relearn it and you can change it. So it's the same thing with this, it's working on a neurophysiological base. And the same way you can change any other movement pattern, you can change all your movement patterns. Um, I have a personal experience with uh, that one, as you mentioned, uh, the teeth grinding. I, I did the same thing and since um, I'm using the, the face former, it definitely reduced uh, the teeth grinding. Yeah, during, and you can, evening. you can also use it at night, right? But that's a different topic. So if you're interested and you get deeper into the topic, you, there are more ways how to integrate it into your daily routine. And it's actually not disturbing. It's not a lot of time effort. It's not that you have to go an hour to the gym to grow big muscle. It's just a little effort that you have to invest um, to improve. And you can also use it at night for sleeping, but there you will find several trainers who can explain it to you, therapists. And I have an office myself, I'm a dentist, so I, I like to use it a lot for the people who are grinding teeth and who have tremendous pain in their jaws and in their articulations. And um, they are actually very happy to, to use it and to see the benefits because there are not many things that help at all. Because normally they do probably some physiotherapy or they get some some rails or something like that, but it's usually not uh, having any effect on it because it doesn't change the origin from the problem. So it only, it only is a, yeah, something like crutches or, or something like that. So, so Attila, thank you for joining and for also demonstrating uh, the way what your training already has led you to. So um, I hope you can benefit from this one a lot more and probably also suggest it to your clients. Yeah, thank you for, for inviting me and uh, I'm really happy to, to be here, be part of this. And definitely in the future I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this even more for myself and suggest to my, to my clients for, for better health, for better performance. Yeah, I'm very happy to hear that. So such a little thing can make such a big difference, right? <laughs> thank you again.